about this man, <laughs> like a beast. I am Yves Scheldega, professional triathlete, multiple Dutch national champion, and my goal is to break the eight hours on a full distance. I'm Tommy Armani, wannabe triathlete, no records, no achievements, and my first full distance Ironman will be in six weeks in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Tell me about uh, the biggest achievement in, in your triathlons um, uh, career you career. have done. I think my PB on the, on the full distance. I finished in 8.04 in, uh, in Rhodes two years ago and finished 8.05 in Frankfurt. So I think that is my, the biggest, my achievement. biggest achievement. In 2018, I'm the Dutch champion of, uh, on the middle distance. Okay. And 2017, I was um, Dutch champion long distance as well. When I was young, especially when I was 12, 13, 14, but even till I was 18 or 19, 20, I was not training that much. So I was like sometimes training seven hours in a week, sometimes 10, 12, but not, not even more than that. No. Um, but that's, I think that's also my strength because I, when I was a junior, I wasn't always the, one of the top guys in, in Holland, in the Netherlands. There was a couple of guys who were faster than me, but they were training a lot more than I was doing. And I was still making progress the older I get. And these guys, they were, yeah, they were just, just burned out already very early. And yeah. I was keep on growing. I just did it because it was fun and I liked it. And, but I didn't like to train that much. So no. it, it was a really a natural process for me. And yeah, just train every year a little bit more. And that, that really helped me. And I was always um, following these other athletes. And I saw them travel the world and do fun things as well. And, and do all these races. And, uh, yeah, in different countries, and that was really a big dream for me to, to yeah. do that as well. And then, at first I wanted to go to the Olympics, but well, I didn't have the, the running speed for that. Okay. So uh, that was kind of the goal, but I think some, somewhere I always knew that it wasn't really possible for me. But I, I just wanted to have a, have a really nice life and live, live for the triathlon and do, yeah, do a lot of fun races, nice things, like being here in South yeah, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. I also started coaching uh, three years ago. It was, it's really nice to help people with, with, their, <coughs> with their schedule and, and, well, really make them better. And it also generates some income, so that's all, also nice and important. But I love, I love to help the people and give them the knowledge, the knowledge to, to achieve their goals. Okay, your first upcoming race is uh, Port Elizabeth. And I'm going to do that. This is my first full distance ever. I've never done full distance before. <laughs> And we, um, we train together quite a lot. What do you think the, the biggest challenges would be for me in, the first, um, in my first uh, full right. distance? I think you really have to, to pace yourself well. You have to keep in mind that it's a very, very long race, a very, very long day as well. And um, make sure that you have enough energy left in the tank for the last 20k of running, because that's... It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough anyway, even if you go slow or go hard, but make sure you still have something in the tank left. Yeah. Now it's six weeks to Port Elizabeth. Uh, and um, if I ask you, what is the main session that makes you feel comf confident and ready for the race? What would it be on the run and bike? A long bike session from about five and a half, six hours with a lot of Ironman pace in there. And then I check of course my my power so I do an Ironman pace and power and check my heart rate with that and especially also the feeling and on the on the run I do uh, also a very long run like I think till even till 36 kilometers also with a lot of marathon pacing in there and actually I'm doing one tomorrow so if you want to join it's yeah, gonna be serious I'm, I'm, I'm gonna join <laughs> yeah I want to try <laughs> let's I'm do it try to see how it would be to be <laughs> as a pro train as a pro <laughs> So let's, let's, let's do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow okay. then, cool. Good, good.
easy. And round then, two. Let's do round it. Two. Let's go. Nice one, man. Oh, nice. Good job. <coughs> oh, this man? <coughs> like a beast. Are you the Dutch beast? Oh, he's crazy. If I'm able to do, to keep this space in the Ironman, <coughs> then I, yeah, then I, I think it's something miracle happened. You know? <laughs> and then you run at, uh, at 238. <laughs> yeah, 238, yeah, you know. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, now we're done with the uh, with this uh, heavy session, two hours run, uh, ginger type Ironman uh, key session. Uh, we did five times 4K um, at the Ironman pace. So now he took me to the to the pool. He's gonna do like one hour uh, recovery swim. For him, it's like probably 5K, 6K or something. And for me, it's just not to not to drown in the pool. So. Um, I'm just uh, trying to stay alive today. A uh, little bit of easy day for the rest of the day and then tomorrow uh, we're going for the ginger type Ironman session on the bike. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Behind every strong athlete, there is an even stronger woman. <laughs> can you relate to this? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> no, I definitely can't relate to that because he's obviously stronger than me. <laughs> um, yeah, so no, but I'm pretty nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you seem like really engaged and supportive in whatever uh, does. How yeah. is uh, these days for you? Um, well, we just... Uh, like you guys do, we go all in, and that's kind of my what I like to say as well when it comes to triathlon. Because um, we're doing this for a couple of years, because it's of course on some point you're going to be too old, and then I feel like you should go all in. You shouldn't do it like half. So I expect him to train very hard. <laughs> no, but I just that's like my biggest fear that on some point in life you're like going to be 80 and you talk back about this time, and that you say that he will tell me like, oh yeah, I think I could have done better, I could have done more, but. I didn't, I should have just put in a bit more training or wish I would have done that at the race or something. Yeah. I'm hoping we do everything to avoid that conversation that we'll always look back and see it, say he's done everything he wanted to do. So you're not just living with a triathlete, you're mm -hmm. also working with triathlon? Yeah. Can you tell me about your job? Yeah, so I think actually I have a passion for triathlon as long as I don't have to do it myself. <laughs> so I, yeah, I work in triathlon, I work for a Dutch triathlon news website which is called uh, Three Athlon, like the number three athlon.nl, uh, and I write articles about like anything kind of triathlon related. So, do you and Ibert ever go training together? Uh, no, we don't really go training together. Uh, he went running with me once, or maybe twice, or maybe three times, but that was definitely the max because he's very annoying to go <laughs> running with because oh, yeah, obviously he goes too fast. But he was actually walking backwards when I was running. He was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He was just like, oh, I can actually walk backwards and still keep up with you. And then, uh, then I was like, okay, yeah, I'm done. So mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was very mad. That's also a thing. I get very frustrated when I'm running because I get tired, and then he thinks I can still talk because yeah. he thinks, well, this pace is so slow, like. Yeah. She must be able to have full conversations yeah. with me, and then I definitely can. I can yeah. so relate to that. <laughs> um, so me and Tommy often train together, or almost every day, and it's uh, often really like a mental uh, struggle as well as a physical struggle because he's obviously much stronger than me, mm -hmm. and I trying my best to keep up, but then always like being in the back and trying to yeah. not get dropped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, what? Are you tired now? It's like 180 watts. What's your problem? Yeah, so, 
I can get mad you're gonna get, well. You're gonna be fucking strong one day because of all this training with a guy. Yeah, so that's what uh, I keep reminding myself of. So yeah, you, you will get stronger. You're growing into a machine, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that in the next session. <laughs> yeah. I will be a machine. <laughs> Är du klar för dagen nu eller? Ja, det är sånt att bli hardt. Är du nervös? Nej, vad är det du snackar om? Jag hoppar du får hjärta. Kan du känna ut på det? Men eh, tror du att han kör mycket hardare än det du borde göra på din tvåan? Självklart gör han det. Han är bättre på cykel. Mycket bättre tror du? Nej, jag tror han är kanske lite bättre på cykel. Ja. Och så. Kanske vi är lite på löp. Mannen har kört 8.04. Vad har du snackat om? Ja. Han har jävligt god liksom. Mm. Jag hoppas att du blir lite extra sliten. Så där kan du tänka på mig. När du ser att han bara chillar ifrån dig. Nu ska jag köra henne i källaren. Jag ska göra att när han kommer hem. Klarar inte att snacka med Romy. Lykke til. Jeg tror kanskje det heller blir at du ikke klarer å snakke med meg. Mm, det blir egentlig litt deilig. Du må jo kjappe deg, hva må du da? done with one one times 30 the beast at the front so the plan is like a uh, little bit on more than five hours included five times 30 minutes our arm on pace see what happens how many times I I be able to survive let's go let's do it Good job. Nice one. Thanks for the ride. You did a good job. What do you think? Do, do you think I'm, I'm going to survive the bike oh, course? Yeah. Oh, you really surprised me, I have to say. You're really okay. much stronger than I thought you would be. And uh, yeah, I think you can do a really good job at PE, absolutely. Okay. If you keep it just together and pace yourself well, the nutrition goes well, then you really can surprise there. It's going to be a nice first time for you. I'm quite and sure of that. And I'm totally sure. I, I mean, like, the, the, the thing that you're showing me on the training, you, you're one of the strongest guy I've ever trained with. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. All right. So um, thank you. Let's go home and then take a coffee. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks. Thanks. See ya.